everybody, welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we added two new team members to our team, Volar the Starly and Sparky the Shinx, and then we also defeated rival Luke and added the Poketch, which you guys can see to the right screen. In today's episode, we're actually going to make our way to the next town. Before we begin that, I'm going to show you guys some of the differences. Volar has gone up to level 10, Speedy has gone up to 11, and Sparky has gone up to level 10 as well. Volar has actually learned himself a new move, which is Wing Attack, oh, that, that's Sparky, which is Wing Attack, which is actually pretty cool, as you can see, power 60, accuracy 100, pretty good one, and Sparky has actually learned Charge, which just just a move that raises a special defense. Um, that's that's about it, you know, because uh, Speedy hasn't really learned much. Speedy's just kind of been chilling on the side. He's got his usual moves. So today, let's go ahead and start making our way through here. I thought, hell, let's start with a Pokemon battle, and there's a dude right up here. So why not do it? Yes, let's battle. Get it going. Let's get let's warm ourselves up. You know? All right. <laughs> I have no idea. But yes, let's just go ahead and warm ourselves up. I will actually be adding now uh, random battles after this one. I just thought, you know, I'd show the first one because I actually do want us to get to the gym battle. Battle. You know, I want us to get to that uh, gym today. Let's go ahead and use Wing Attack on this guy. I think he's a grass Pokemon. Just from the looks, used by. Oh, no. He's one of those dudes. All right, hopefully Wing Attack. Wow, KO'd. Easy, super effective. Hey, look at that. Look who's picking out the moves like ding, ding, ding. Okay, so there we go. Volar gained 81 XP. I actually want to level these guys up to like level 12, 13. But, you know, I, did, I just never got around to it. I'm just going to stick with Volar. I think Volar can take down a Zubat. Because um, if Sparky had some freaking uh, lightning moves, some electric moves already, it'd be a lot easier. But he doesn't, sadly. I'm not sure what level he gets it at. But hopefully it's soon. Because I really could use some of those moves on my team. I mean, when there's a flyer up there, it's going to be tough to take him down without Sparky knowing, you know, some move that to spark him down. I don't know. So there we go. That was pretty easy with Volar. Jeez, Volar, you're kicking ass, dude. So um, that was it. it. Once we actually defeat this guy, um, I saw a little Pokeball on the right side. So I'm just going to go around right here and pick it up because I knew it was just chilling here for some reason. Um, from here on out, I'm probably going to edit out the battles just because, you know what? It takes a little too much time and I don't know if we should be showing that many, especially on our way there. So I'm probably just going to cut out this one right here. Okay, so I've actually gone ahead and defeated these guys in the route because I just thought, you know what, might as well just skip them and there's no point for us to actually show all these random battles that aren't really that important. So let's see what the sign says because I'm not sure what it says. It says, trainer tips. If a Pokemon is about to evolve, it can instantly evolve. Press B button. Oh, well, I know that one from playing the other Pokemon games. Um, there seems to be a little Pokeball here. Let me go ahead and grab it. Rod found an X defense. Sweet. I know there's like raise your defense when you're in battle, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we actually have to head to freaking um, Orberg City through this sign. It says, route 203 Orberg city so let's go ahead and jump right into it hopefully we don't need flash or anything there's actually gonna be a bunch of trainers here so I'm probably just gonna you know let's just go ahead and fight this first one let's see what this dude has bring it on dude that sparkling new Pokets, you're, awkward, blah, blah. you're still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? But it's all good, you're a new fellow, so let's make me gift of this hidden machine to you. Oh, look! Obtain the HMO6, sweet! Roger, you put the HMO6 in the pocket. The hidden machine, or HM for short, contains a hidden move, Rock Smash. A Pokemon learning Rock Smash can smash small boulders in the field. So yeah, I'm actually going to be using an HM slave. I still don't know who I'm going to use, but I mean, I just got an HM, so if I do need it, I will collect one in this episode. But as you guys know, I am not running this. Like, I'm, I'm doing this Let's Play blind, so I still don't know exactly what to expect. I'm pretty sure I am going to have to learn Rock Smash, so let's just go ahead and, uh... Okay, now that that interruption is over, let's just go ahead and fight this random dude. What the? There's one more battle? Screw that then, let's just do it! Alright, let's go ahead and make our way out of here through this cave, and hopefully this will be... Orgburg City! Yes! Finally, let me go read the sign, let's see what it says. Orgburg City, City of Energy. Is there another battle? Really? Like, right outside the try? The, you better do something about that. I'll take you to the Pokemon Gym. Oh, okay, cool. So this kid's going to take us to the Pokemon Gym. I guess he's doing Don's job and just kind of taking us through. Ah, look, it's Luke. Huh? There's someone there. Hey, Luke. How are you doing, dude? Come here. What's up? Huh? Oh, it's you, Rodri. You finally got here. You're slow like always. But anyways, the gym leader's tough. Like, seriously, serious. Like, totally, dude. If the gym leader's this tough, I wonder how he compares. Uh, my, to my dad, huh? I just drifted there. Anyway, the gym leader's gone off to the cool mine. If you want to take on the gym leader, you'd better go off to the mine. Coal mine, by the way. Coal, not cool mine. Well, let's go ahead and uh, heal our Pokemon. Let's see what's around here. Pokemart! Where is our Pokemon Center? Because, you know, on the way to Viridian City, you always got to make it at the Pokemon Center without those freaking uh, Pharaohs or whatever. 
attacking you. I have no idea. Let's just go ahead and heal them up. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes, Nurse Joy. We would love you to rub up our Pokemon and oil them down and heal them back to perfection, you know. Um, <laughs> we restore your Pokemon to full health. So that's it. I guess let's go to the mine and let's just go start exploring crap. Let's just go do this thing. Where's the mine, by the way? I'm just going to run down here because this looks like... Oh, look. This looks like it could be the mine. Now, where exactly is the entrance? Oh, I say that, and we enter it. All right. Ooh, look. Look. How do I get over there? How do I get over there? Oh, look. There's stairs. I didn't know that. Jeez. This doesn't even look like stairs. The 3D is kind of, like, messing me up. It's kind of like, yo, we are 3Ding it up in here, and it's just kind of confusing a little bit. Um, there's a random battle there, and I guess there's random Pokemon here. Let's just go ahead and take a look who he is. That's just a Zubat. No reason for me to, like, be bothering with a Zubat. I'm just going to go ahead and run through this one, because you know what? Screw you, Zubat. I don't need to be bothering with you. And um, I know there's a random battle there. Let's see what else we can do through here. I'm just going to run through these caves and just skip all these random battles. Because, I mean, there's not really a point in me doing them. And it's a Geodude. Holy crap. There are Geodudes in Sinnoh? I didn't know there were Geodudes. I'm not going to be adding him to my party, though. So I'll just go ahead and run through them. It's the, it's the easiest way for me to do it. Just kind of run through them. Um, hey, what's this rock thing? And what is this? All right, nothing. I guess we just go around. And look! Look, this dude has a Machomp or something. Let's go ahead and talk to him. I met this Machomp on Route 207. They've now become my most trusted partners. Machomps are really good guys, you know. They're all juiced with the juice. I wonder if they take steroids to level up. Is that one of the requirements? Like, you know how they, uh, the Moonstone is required to level up Clefairy? Do you have to take steroids to level up a Machomp? I've always wondered that, but you know, you just never know these days. Hey, look, another Pokeball. Let's go ahead and open up. I found a potion. Sweet, looks like I found a potion. Let's put the Pokemon... Oh, look, 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 look at this guy. He looks different than the others. Let's talk to him. Let's see what he has to say. Talk to me. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move Rock Smash, a boulder blocking your way. Oh, sweet. Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. What? You're the gym leader? Then what the hell are you doing in the coal mine, dude? Well, you know what? I know times are tough, so I can completely understand that you have a side job. Because, you know, if, if the if money from the gym isn't cutting it, I can understand that you become a miner. Because that's just what happens, you know, guys. In this in this era we're in, sometimes you need to have two jobs. Even even gym leaders have it tough. And, dude, why are there so many goddamn Geodudes coming up to attack me? Geodude, how about you get that rock, you shove it up your ass, and you get away from me, dude? Seriously. I wish I had a repel right now, but I don't. Alright, I'm pretty sure we talked to him. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be good now. Let's just go ahead and make our way out of here, and hopefully I can actually battle this gym leader this time, which I'm actually think I'm gonna be able to, if these stupid Geodudes and Zubats would leave me alone. See, this is why no one wants you on their team, Geodude, because you, sir, are an asshole, okay? That's why no one wants you on their team, so let's go ahead and run, because you know what? No one wants you on their team, and we're back here in the town, so let's just go ahead and make our way to Orgberg City. On the way to Orgberg City, I'm pretty sure I'm fully healed, so I hope I can actually beat this dude. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to, but I hope that I will be. Um, what the hell? Is this? this is kind of confusing. Um, I guess there's a battle here. Let's go ahead and battle him. Uh, there's gonna be like two battles before the dude. Then I'm gonna heal, and then we're actually gonna make our way to him and actually get our first gym, our first gym, our first badge. All right, this dude only has one Pokemon. It's a Geo dude. You guys have no idea how much I hate Geodude. Like, you, do you guys remember back in the day, like, po Pokemon Yellow playing through that crap? You know how Pokemon Yellow had Team Rocket? And then, you know, you'd be getting your ass handed to you because you have a Pikachu and you're going against, like, rock types and you're just or ground types and you're like, son of a bitch. And all these Geodudes are coming at you and they're slamming you and they're tackling you and they're defense curling you. And you're just like, son of a bitch, Pikachu. Why is the only move you know Thunder or something, you know? Which doesn't affect them very well. Actually, I, I have no idea. I don't know. What? I Oh, I'm not hitting him with anything. I'm going to switch over to my Starly because when I'm talking to you guys, I easily get distracted. And this... Wait, I'm going to use Absorb. Let's see how much Absorb takes from them because, after all, it is a Grass-type move, so it should be effective on them. Let's see. Is it going to be... This is kind of like a pre-warm-up. Holy crap. That KO'd the crap out of him. Wow. Holy crap. Geodude should be going up to level 12 now because we just KO'd the crap out of that dude. Speedy grew to level 12. Come on, please learn Razor Leaf, Speedy. Nothing. Okay, player defeated, youngster Jonathan. Jonathan, you just got raped, son. 
And there's going to be another battle here. Um, You know what? I'm going to give some XP to our little Shinxie, to our Sparky, because all these dudes are level 12 except Shinx. So Shinx, get in there in the action, dude. What are you doing? What are you waiting for, Shinxie? Let's go, Shinxie. All right, only those who want to win can challenge a Pokemon gym. And you know what, dude? I want to win it all. I went to this one guy, right? And uh, we were just chatting up. And he goes up to me, and he was like, you don't play to lose, do you? Or he was like, you don't play to lose, do you? And I was like, no. I win it all. <laughs> I don't know. Just something funny I, I thought I'd bring up. But yes, let's go ahead and use Tackle. It's probably not going to do much because, you know, Geo. Yeah, it's not going to do much. Well, I'm just going to switch out. If you guys didn't know, that's a good way to train up your Pokemon. Like, uh, you know, using your weaker Pokemon first and then sending out your good one. And then it kind of splits the XP in two, which is a really good way of sharing the XP if you guys didn't know. You know, I just thought I'd tell you because I might as well give you some tips. Um, which you probably don't need because you're probably 20 times better than me at Pokemon and have actually beat this game. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and kill off this dude. Um, if you guys have any recommendations for me, you know, like always, feel free to leave it in the comments. It's always great to hear back from you guys. You know, I want us to play through this game together, um, as most of you may know. Um, if you guys are a new viewer, thank you for coming and welcome to the Purple Banditos because, you know, you are all special. Um, and just, you know, I like to play the game with you guys because it, it's let's play not I play that is something I say so it's really good that you know we all just together come to this and beat through the game together you know it's just a lot more fun for me and this onyx is ridiculously easy to kill are my Pokemon juiced did I juice my Pokemon I don't even know because I don't know what level these dudes were gonna be so I feel like I'm juicing them hopefully my um my little Shinxie will get XP but I don't think they will because they weren't actually in the battle with onyx but yeah I feel like they're they're a little bit juice for this gym. Hopefully not too bad. And um, we grew up to we went up to level 13. Wow, level 13 already. Right. Little Razor Leaf. Yes, finally. All right, I'm so glad I got that. Then Razor Leaf. I have a feeling my Speedy's just gonna like KO through them. Um, you know what? Let's just go for it. Cause screw it. You know, my dudes are looking pretty pretty jacked, pretty jacked up. Let's just go send out um our little Shinxie Sparky first. Welcome, this is the Orberg Pokemon Gym. I am Roark, the gym leader. I am but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. As a gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer, and I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Bring it on, dude. Bring it on. Versus Roark. Alright, so here we go. This is our first Pokemon Gym battle. Here we go. Roark from the Orberg City Gym. And he sent out a Geodude, which looks juiced. Holy crap. I'm going to just get off and intimidate on him. I'm going to use a couple Leers. I'm setting up once again for my little dude, like you guys know. I'm setting up for my Speedy. I just thought it would be the best way to do it. Since Speedy ra learned Razor Leaf, he'll be able to just boost it through here. Is the Rock Gym, like the Ground-type Gym, always the first one? I don't know. From Kanto, we always have it with, like, Rock and stuff. So I just thought it might be like that here, which is pretty cool. I can agree with that. But, you know, that's why, well, I don't know, Chimchar... And um, Piplup still would have kind of an easy time with it, just because ground isn't really that strong, sadly, you know? Uh, I don't know, it's just kind of easy with the starters to take them down, except po except Pikachu, you know, of course. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch out. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to take him down with, like, one hit. My speed is level 13, come on! Unless this dude pulls a freaking solar beam out of his ass, which he can't use, there's no way he's going to KO me. And even then, it's not going to do very much, unless he throws out, like, a freaking, you know, fire thrower at me or something um a flamethrower you know then he's not going to be able to do much to me let's go ahead and use razor leaf on him then hopefully i can take him out is that going to be a ko yeah that was a dude that was way too easy geo dude come on roark you gotta bring it roark you gotta bring the heat because you're playing with me man you are playing with me okay he's gonna send out his onyx yes i'm gonna once again send out uh sparky have him set up and then switch over to my speedy because you guys know speedy is badass <laughs> so let's go ahead and kill him off i actually used to have a parrot called joey but he also passed away um it was pretty sad i'll tell you guys about that while we're fighting this so like um joey and then we also had another one i don't remember his name i think it was pete or something like that pete the parrot or something and um uh, we actually, what am I doing? Let me focus. So, one night, we, we just, we used to leave him out, right? And there used to be rats in our house. Like, I don't know, we had rats. And damn it! He hit a crit on me! Bastard! Alright, time to send out, uh, Voler. Voler would be able to handle his ass. So, we, we, we used to leave him out, right? And then one morning, we just wake up, and you know, these rats. And then we look at the cage, 
and there's blood, and the little freaking parrot is dead. So somehow the rat managed to bust in there and freaking like decapitate little Pete and like Joe, and then Joey must have died of like a heart attack. I know, isn't that? Aren't these like brutal pet stories? It's something that happens, isn't that horrible? And I mean, I was just like, how the hell do these rats get in the cage? It was sealed. But I, I think, like, rats are, like, stretchy. Oh, okay, I used, okay, I'm, I gotta switch Volar out of here because I want him to get the XP. Someone's gotta get the split XP with me. Um, you know what? I, uh, you know, I'm just gonna use another quick attack. Whatever, it's not gonna put much damage on him, but you know what? I'll switch over to my speedy after because uh, I'd rather my speedy get all the XP than if, you know, Volar is just gonna be dying here, even though it would have took him up to level 13. So I don't know. Well, I'll level him up later. Speedy should be able to handle this quite nicely after a growl has been put on Onyx. And uh, we also have Razor Leaf. Oh, crap! He put spikes on the ground? Oh, no, dude! No, dude! Okay, thank goodness Speedy's a little tank. Or I would have gotten KO'd there if it would have been any other Pokemon. So yeah, decapitated on the floor, and we hit a crit on him. Wow, what are the odds of us hitting like two crits in a battle and KOing him? Speedy gained 277 XP. Okay, I think Speedy's a little juice now. I think I'm going to have to train the other dudes, because Speedy is a juiced little dude. Granitos? What? 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 I didn't know you had a third Pokemon. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, jeez! Okay, so this just completely, like, changed the story. Hopefully it does a lot of damage on him. I don't know what kind of Pokemon it is. KO'd! Yes! You suck, Roark! You suck, dude. Imagine if you would've KO'd me there. How much would that have sucked? Am I going up to level 15? <laughs> Holy crap! Level 15 already! I can't believe that. Am I gonna level up? Am I gonna evolve? What? That can't be! Roger, got 1680 for winning! Awesome, I got 1680 for winning, guys. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. But dude, you're the first gym, man. Don't take it to heart, all right? According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym uh, our gym badge since you've beaten me, the leader. Here's your official Pokemon League badge. Rodri received the coal badge from Roark. There you go, guys. I have one badge out of eight. I have done it. Pokemon can now use the hidden move Rock Smash. You should uh, also take this to obtain the TM76. I wonder what TM76 is. It's probably going to be like uh, Stealth Rock. There you go. Stealth Rock's actually a pretty good move if you're going to be setting up for other Pokemon. I know that because, you know, I battle Pokemon online here and there, even if I'm not that good. In this region of Sinnoh, there are seven other gym leaders. I should warn you, they're a lot tougher than I am. Well, well, well. Haha, <laughs> look at you, trainer Joey. I just kicked your gym leader's ass. What do you have to say about that? So, that'll be it for this episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys again very, very soon for another episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Speedy, say bye. Say bye to everyone. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, one gym down, seven more to go. See you guys in the next episode.